Joey Marr is world handball champion, Ireland's only reigning world champion. At 36 years of age, he must be one of the oldest world title holders in a sport so skilled and demanding as handball. In his 19 years as a competitor, he's won five Canadian Open and Close Championships, three US Open titles and some 14 All-Ireland medals. He's only been beaten here in Ireland on three occasions in the past 14 years. Joey is a Drahada man, a town that hasn't got a handball court, but that did not deter him from becoming champion of the world in a sport that can be best described as highly skilled, strenuous and extremely fast. He's a painting contractor by profession, but from 1964 to 1968 he worked as a policeman in Toronto, and there, as a member of the Valentine Club, he became world champion in a Canadian singlet. Apart from handball, Joey has other talents. As time went on, he did his best, and all would see he did it just well. He practiced calling it both night and day. Joey played football and did competitive cycling as a youngster, but handball was always his first love. Well, on my mother's side, she had three brothers that played handball. Eugene, Jim, and my uncle Pappy. But I guess it was Pappy I took it up from because he was the local champion. And uh, I remember every year, year after year, I'd carry home this trophy for him. It was the O'Reilly Cup, but there was a small trophy to go with it. But uh, to this day, if you look to Pappy says, even though we won this, I must have carried it home about ten o on ten occasions. If you look to Pappy says, you just see the one cup there. He was donating the same cup every year after he'd win it. And uh, mind you, there was pretty good players in it also. But uh, that was just the type of fellow he was. He wasn't on for collecting trophies. He was just donating his own trophy every year. So keen is your interest in the game, Joey, that it's been said the main reason you emigrated to Canada was to win the title over there. Well, it's true because that was in 1964 I went to New York on the Irish team. Now, Ireland, it's every three years the World Championships come up. Ireland tried to get it for 67, but we failed. Now, I got the opportunity uh, to go to Canada. It was Canada that got it. Toronto got it for 67. When I got the opportunity to go to Toronto, I took it. And uh, I learned the game out there, and of course, it's as you know, it's a different sport out there altogether. The courts, the dimensions of the courts are six, 20 by 40 and 20 feet high. The dimensions of the Irish courts are 60 by 30 and 30 feet high. Our courts are concrete, whereas out there it's more tailored. They've got a, a hardwood floor, maple floor, and uh, the walls are finished in a very smooth plaster with a gloss paint. They also play the ceiling shots out there. And uh, then they've, uh, they've got the hooks and the hops and what have you. It's really more tailored and they go into it in a bigger way. Well, the fact that the Irish court has, as you said, 60 by 30 is against 40 by 20 measurements. Will this give you an advantage in the coming championships in October? Well, it won't give the Irish players the advantage that the Americans had over us. The reason for this is the Americans have got outdoor concrete courts also. And when the summer months come along, they go outside and uh, practice outdoor. Now all they need is the Irish balls and they're away with it. They really won't find that much of a difference when they do come. That's the Americans and Canadians and Mexicans. There's a story told that you improved your game, particularly your overhead play when, uh, as a policeman and whilst working. Uh, how did this come about? What in fact is the story behind that? Well, I guess uh, that was when I was directing traffic. Uh, instead of just calling on the traffic the normal way a police officer would call it, I would swing my hand this way. And that way, the left and right. I guess the motors were a bit puzzled at times, but there was no accidents and uh, I was happy anyway, my overarm came on. Fine. Well, look, you returned to Ireland in glory, world champion. You set up business here in Drogheda as a painting contractor and uh, settled down to the business now of defending the title in October. Are you in fact playing enough handball to take on this mighty overseas challenge? Well, I'm playing quite a bit of handball right enough. Just at the moment now after the All Ireland series I'm just rest resting a bit. I, you get to know after a while just 
what you can do yourself, what you're capable of doing. Now, I know myself, I'm going to rest for about two or three weeks and then get down to hard training. Now, here again for training for World Series, it's really a diet that you got to watch. And of course, the missus looks after this end of it for me. She just knows what I want and that's all. And uh, play a fair bit of handball and keep in shape that way. I won't do any running or skipping because my age just won't allow me. I just couldn't, at 36, I couldn't uh, go out and run for 10 miles, say, and then come along and expect to be in top shape. Joey, to be a top class player in this game, one should be ambidextrous, which you are. One must also be extremely fit. And what do you do to keep fit, diet wise, and in any other way? Yeah, well, for the World Championships in uh, Toronto, 67, for four months previous, uh, I went on a strict diet of steaks and honey. Now, uh, I was taking the honey in unsweetened juices and uh, also the steaks. What, what, what I'll go on now for in preparation for the, the ones coming up in October, I uh, really can't say. But I do know this one's that if I was to go on a diet of steaks, I wouldn't have to diet because uh, <laughs> working for the money, for the pay for the steaks, <laughs> with the cost of meat in Ireland, you know. This is quite yeah. true. Uh, concentration, do you find if you drop your concentration, even for a moment in this game, you can drop a few aces in that short period? You can. Uh, this is one thing you just have to get uh, to do is to concentrate for the full 21 aces. Not just for five minutes in a game or for five aces in a game, for the full 21 aces. And even at the present time, I, I kind of know that, OK, I, I lose my concentration at times. Say I make a mistake and it costs me a few aces. But the thing to do then is kind of just push it one side, say this is getting me nowhere, really crying over spilt milk and get back into the game, get your concentration down on the game again. Joey, being the only reigning Irish world champion, does this in any way affect your way of life? Well, it doesn't uh, because I, I like what I'm doing. I like handball and uh, it doesn't really affect it all that much. It does take up a lot of time and... Uh, I guess uh, it won't ask the missus more about that. The fact that Joey is world champion hasn't affected our private lives very much, except that he's more aware of winning and he must travel away at weekends to play games all over the country. He's still the same devil, McCarra, Joey, I've married 15 years ago. The Mars have four children, three boys and one girl, and all of them very proud of their champion father. Little Edward was too shy to give his thoughts on handball and the world in general, but 12-year-old Michal, so often his father's mascot, made comment freely. I would like to be as good as my daddy, but uh, there's no there's no humble alley in Drogheda, and this morning I had to cycle up to Gorms Town with a friend of mine to have a few games. And what about David? I like him very much, and I think he's a great player. And he only, and he only lost a couple of matches. I, I love watching him play. Linda, a dancing champion like her mother, says... I think it's very nice that I'm lucky to have a father that plays handball and that is the world handball champion. As a painting contractor, uh, does this govern the amount of time you have to the game? Well, I guess it does, but it doesn't really affect it uh, that much. Of course, handball does take a lot of time, but I walk a lot around the country, and uh, there's plenty of courts around Ireland, and uh, I've been lucky insofar as having fellas to practice with wherever I was. What do you do for relaxation? Well, I guess I like playing guitar. I, uh, I have a guitar, and I uh, play at different shows around the country, like there shows like that, uh, Counties put on for the 10 top sports stars and they generally get in touch with me and I go and do a spot at the show. What sort of music is this, Joey? Well, mostly country and western we do. That's Georgie, my mate and I. My world today is broken too When you told me we were through Our plans and dreams are all I've seen My words come down, down Someday, but until then, I'm gonna be someone.
to pity if you see in between the devil and the deep blue sea. My words come down, 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 down on me. I guess you found another boy. My love for him, for you I toy. I guess too late. Come down, 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 come down on me I'm gonna leave this bird behind I'm gonna move away Maybe if a broken heart can mend I'll love again someday But until then I'm gonna be Someone to pity If you see In between the devil And the deep blue sea My words come down in view of the fact that the world championships are being held in Dublin, Joey, do you think this will increase uh, interest in the game, particularly from the younger set? Well, I'm sure it will, with the coverage it's going to get from the papers and probably RTE. And uh, full credit will have to go, of course, to Brother Murphy, and who is uh, a president, and Joe Lynch, our secretary, for the wonderful work that they are putting into uh, really making these championships a success. There's a chap coming representing the States, Pat Kirby. He's over there 14 or 15 years. He was an Irish champion before he ever went out there. And uh, he's won quite a lot of American championships out there. Have you played Pat? I've played Pat out there now, and i played Pat three times. He beat me twice, and I beat him once. So he's the man perhaps most likely to succeed. Heart is the man to, to watch. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. Oh Lord, it takes a worried man to sing a worried song. It takes a worried man to sing a worried song. I'm worried now, but I won't be worried long. The train I ride is 21 coaches long. Oh Lord, the train I ride is 21 coaches long. The train I ride has 21 coaches long. The girl I love is on the train and gone all together. Let's hear it. Yeah. To sing a worried song, oh Lord, it takes a worried man. To sing a worried song, it takes a worried man. To sing a worried song. I